Okay, we will create the following 2D model using SolidWorks. As you can see, guys, what we have right here is rounded shapes, circular shapes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine holes. And every single part within the within the this part, general part, is created with a circle. Alright? Now, what information do we need? First, the unit system. Second, the dimensions. First, for the unit system, as you can see right here, what Luis Miguel Guarofano Garzón, the person who made this engineering draw, um, lack is that he didn't place the unit system. This is not mandatory, guys. Remember, when you don't see the information regarding this this unit system, these dimensions, uh, then you can assume that these are millimeters, right? So that is what we are going to do. Um, second, we have right here a big circle. Another circle right here, which is place for us to create these other four circles. And using this big circle, we are going to place the center for these other circles. As you can see, this nomenclature says that this dimension is 150 millimeters. Um, this is talking about the diameter. And as well, that means that one, two, three, and four, the, the four of them has the same dimension. Right, so we're going to start by clicking on File, New, this is a part, so OK. Now we're going to click on a Sketch, Sketch once again, we're going to select the front plane. Let me see if I can rotate this, OK. As you can see, I don't like to rotate the the sketch because it is like confusing so control 8 I'm going to disable the rotation and now I can start creating all the circles so I'm going to start creating the the big circle um, right here we have another circle Right here we have another one, so three circles. Then I need to create let me see three hundred nope. I need to create an a square. So I'm going to select this one, center rectangle. And this is close to this other circle right there we have it and finally we need one two three four i don't really care about the dimensions guys just yet because we just have to create everything we need for us to to have something similar to the shape that we have right there all right so i'm going to select these because i already have a circle i'm going to select this one this one and finally this one I think that's everything, but there is four other right here. And right here. All right, now we have everything we need. Now I'm going to select this, 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 
and this circle I'm going to say that the four of those are equal that is the first step the second step this 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 and this ha have to meet the same requirement equal and finally the same thing goes for these four equal all right now the book circle diameter sorry radius is 212.130 so since this is a radius times 2 for the diameter okay now this is 100 this is 300 and since this is a square this is 300 as well all right now this is 150 but before I change this one I just realized that the radius is 100 that means that the, the diameter is 200 and now the diameter for this other is 150 got it then this other circle is 320 then this other circle is 200 and finally every single one of these circles is 50 All right, we have everything we need. Okay. All I need to do right now is to select the lines that were created for construction purposes. This one, this one, and those lines for construction. Okay, everything looks good now I'm going to click on switchers extruded solution I'm going to enable the rotation and basically what we have to do right now is to select the parts that need to be extruded that need to be extruded so this one this one this one and this one the extrusion is 10 millimeters so everything is correct and that's how guys you can create this 3d model using solidworks that is pretty much it um, of course uh, you can create the the sketch different it is not mandatory to create it as I did but if you are learning please do the same steps that I that I have done and you will learn basically uh, one way to do it okay now <clears throat> returning to the engineering draw I just want to mention some different things the first one of course this nomenclature means there is four circles uh, which I mentioned is 50 millimeters according with the diameter okay 
That means this one, this one, this one, and this one. All right, right here we have the same dimension, and right here we have the 10 millimeters for the extrusion, the, the thickness. Now, <clears throat> I want to make sure that you understand this. This is a nomenclature, guys. And this is an error that Mr. Lewis made during this to, during the creation of this engineering draw. This means ISO A and this means ISO E. Please Google it. You'll find a better explanation there. Why is that? Because when you Google it and you click on Google Images, you're perfectly capable of understanding if this is the front view or is if it's this one of or if we are talking about the the lateral view and this is the front view right this is pretty important guys because you cannot use both nomenclatures within the same engineering draw because you are telling the reader i'm using iso a but i'm as well i'm using iso e so the read is like okay but which one is which one you know now <clears throat> this is a spanish for exercise for aluminum steel copper right please guys be aware of the normativity that you are using for you to create the engine renewing draw why is that because usually the normativities that I've taken into account uses a box that usually goes right here. You place uh, your name because you are the drawer. Uh, you place okay name. You place the name of the part. You pay. You place the information that the reader needs <clears throat> for he or she to create this this part. For example, some tolerances, the material um all the information needed right four or five this is uh, like the number of the of the engineering drive there's more than than only one so yeah guys please create a template in which you <clears throat> you're able to organize the engineering job for the person who reads um that is pretty much it guys this is how you can create this 3d model using solidworks this is a pretty simple part um of course i uh, i use the 3d mouse but it is because i move um for example i use katia i use solidworks but my first so software was katia as you can see uh in my youtube channel so when I'm going to rotate the part, I'm not as efficient as I want to be using SOLIDWORKS because the rotation is a little different using the mouse. But you will get it, guys. I, this is like a, like a hack, but of course, um, you will get it. You will, uh, you will be able to manage the software that you choose as you as you please and that is pretty much it guys this is how you can create this 3d model using solidworks